Boom X is 25 years uh, from a Gen X perspective. So it starts in 1970, ends in 1995, and it's 25 years of history, culture, politics, music, told through personal stories. Audiences do not need to have seen Boom at all. I think you could come in cold. I set it up nicely and I make sure that anyone who, who comes in has a sense of maybe what preceded it. However, it's not a prerequisite at all. I try to make each show self-contained and each show its own really satisfying blend of, of humor, humanity, uh, a lot of voices. I play 100 characters in each of the three shows in the trilogy and there's a lot of music in this one. The title Boom X is, is interesting in that the X is a number of things. Uh, one, it's an intersection of things crashing together. I like to go at the heart of things, and at the heart of things, one is vulnerable, one is uncertain, one is full of doubt and failure and fear, and I delve into that stuff and I embrace it. All of my shows are personal. I, I tend to write about what I know and what I've experienced, and I'm a very curious person, so they are world curious, just like the Grand. So yeah, Boom X is very much a, a personal story of someone who grew up living in a slightly blinkered society of the 1970s and 80s in a pretty, you know, middle class, white bread, sexist, probably racist, probably homophobic world, trying to, um, understand how, what role I can play in that world and how I can actually make it better. It's a beautiful show, it's funny, it's, uh, it's moving, but it also touches on um, our shared humanity. We all come of age somewhere, somehow, and we all have people who, you know, kind of kick our ass and other people who prop us up, and, and that's what the story ultimately is about. This is Boom X, live and in person at the Grand Theatre.